Hey, what's going on, it's Ryan, and today I wanna to actually talk about a couple of photos I have left over from a walk I went on about a week or two ago just around here in Astoria. Uh, I shot some photos on my Pentax 6.7 using Fuji's Pro 400H film. I just wanted to talk about it real quick and show a couple of photos from it. And before we get into that, if you could just take one second and just hit that subscribe button down there, that would mean the world to me. Thank you so much. So a couple of weeks ago, uh, I had some photos left over from our trip when we went up to Storm King. You can actually check out that video right here with all those awesome photos from that day. But I had a roll left that I didn't actually use at Storm King. So I took that and I actually went on a walk around Astoria, mostly down near Socrates Park and just really just everywhere around Astoria that I walk and go around all the time. And I had one roll of Fuji Pro 400H medium format film in my Pentax 6.7 and I figured, let's take this video to just check out some of these really amazing photos I got. So these, this walk actually started going down uh, one of the roads I live on towards the water. And uh, there's something down there towards the water that I take, I've taken photos of before that I absolutely love. It's this place where they store ice cream trucks. So the ice cream trucks that we hear all the time running through our neighborhood. they actually store them there when they're not going through the neighborhoods giving ice cream to people. And I actually found it and it's one of my favorite things because it's these white trucks with this purple bottom and they're just set up in a way that just looks so great. And I actually took this photo and another photo there. So those photos came out really good. I really like those ice cream trucks. They're a lot of fun. And actually, as I started to walk towards Astoria Park, the sun was starting to get to that golden hour light. And I walked by the overpass for the Robert F. Kennedy Bridge that's right in Astoria, that is right near Astoria Park. And under there, they have actually built basketball courts and tennis courts, volleyball courts, and everything like that. And there was a group of guys playing basketball and the light that was hitting right above them on the arcs of the park where it just came out really great and I stopped to take this photo and I'm absolutely thrilled to see how it came out. This is actually one of the two best photos I shot on that roll of film that I really loved. I mean, the golden hour color really comes out above the guys as they're playing basketball. It's just a really great photo and I love the detail and I love the color. And then from there, I started to walk down towards Astoria Park and I got a couple of more photos just like by looking around. I love the architecture down there and everything and it's right on the water. And uh, there was this, this area where the boats were kind of docked in on the water. And I took a couple of photos, one directly into the sun so you can see how my light meter really exposed for the highlights, not so much the shadows in this photo. And then next, I actually got my probably favorite photo I took on that roll, which was the Astoria, the bridge in Astoria Park, the Robert F. Kennedy Bridge, through these two trees. So these trees made like a, a natural frame for this picture of the bridge. And you can actually see a little bit of the golden hour sun set behind it. And it's probably one of my favorite photos that I've taken in a really long time. I just love how clean and bright everything is, but also there's that sunset in the background and the bridge is just sharp and just looks good. And then finally, two last photos I took was of someone sitting on the edge of a wall in the golden sunlight hour. So the sunlight is actually coming down and hitting this person just perfectly. They're sitting on the edge of this rock wall, overlooking the water, and it just, I got two different photos. I got a vertical one and a horizontal one. They both look good. One, she's looking away. The other one, she's looking towards the camera a little bit more. And the, the, it came out super sharp. The colors look great. And it's just an absolutely two beautiful photos of this person just sitting there, enjoying the sunset, enjoying that day. So what's one thing to take away from all of these photos? It's the fact that this Fujifilm, again, I've talked about the Fujifilm before. You can actually check it out in this video right here. Fuji makes some really great 
photo film, especially some medium format film. Uh, the 400H is the one that I use for this and I actually picked up two more boxes of it from B&H. Uh, it's a really great film stock. Highlights just as good as Kodak Portrait. It does detail just as good. It does color representation and it just is an all around low grain quality film. I highly recommend it. I love it. These photos should be proof to you enough to show you that the, 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 the durability and the reproduction of colors and accuracy and grain structure of this film is just as good as Kodak Portra 400 and 800. So if you're looking for a slightly cheaper film that has just as high quality, again, just like before, definitely check out Fujifilm Pro 400H film. It is phenomenal. These photos really proved that. I really hope you enjoyed these photos. I hope you enjoyed this video. Go out and check it out. I'll leave some links below for it, like Adorama, B&H, you can pick this stuff up. It's great film. Go out there, take some great photos, follow me on Instagram, send me photos you've taken. I love to see photos people take with their cameras on this. Remember to just shoot, have a good day. I'll see you this weekend and I'll talk to you later.